Laravel 9 was released on February 8, 2022, and it came with some nice new features that we want to highlight. In this video, we'll discuss how to work with enumerations in Laravel 9. Hello developers and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Keck Warren. Enumerations were our favorite new feature added in the PHP 8.1 release, so we're glad to see them being included already in Laravel. If you need a refresher on enums, make sure you check out our video on using them. A link is in the description of this video. That being said, you must be using PHP 8.1 for the new enumeration features to function. Enum Eloquent Attribute Casting. A new feature was added to Eloquent's Attribute Casting feature to support casting values from a database into an enumeration. Let's work through an example. And for our example, we're gonna create an article model with four potential published states. We'll be using an enumeration to store the values. Out of the box, Laravel doesn't have an enums folder, but it seems to make sense to create one inside of our app directory. Then we're not mixing models that interface with the database with enums that don't. Next, we'll create our new enumeration. So we're gonna use a backed enumeration. So in this case, we're gonna use a string value in order to make one of the newer features work later. But we're gonna have four different values. We'll have a case not published, which we're gonna have a value of one, a case scheduled, if I can spell it right, with the value of two, a case published, with a value of three, and a case deleted with a value of four. And that gives us our basic enumeration. Now let's create our model. PHP artisan make model. And we'll create our migration and our model at the same time. Article. Now inside of our migration, we'll add a couple columns that we need for this. So we'll need a title, and we will need a article body. Oops. And we also need a state ID. There we go. We will run our migration. Now we have a table that we can use. And now we're gonna look inside of our article class. And there's a couple things that we're going to change. The first thing is we're gonna do, we're gonna create the fillable property. And we're going to say we can fill the state ID, the title, and the article body. And we are also going to add a per cast Oh, I'm sorry. We're also going to add a casts property. This is going to inform Eloquent. Elo this is going to inform Eloquent which uh, how we cast from the state ID into our enum. So we're going to say it's a publish state class. And I know it says class and then it's enumeration, but for some reason this is this is the correct way to do it. I don't know why PHP 8.1 doesn't have an enumeration, but it does doesn't. So now if we go in, let's create a quick route. Let's make a route get create article function. And we're just going to create a quick or a quick article. So we'll say article equals article create. And we will give it a title of enums in Laravel 9, a article body, something, and then a state ID of our published state. I'm not 
sure why that's not finding them automatically, but we will do this. And we will say publish state is not published by default. We'll close that. And so now if we go to our route here on our on our test site. And we'll get a blank page. So no, there was no error message, which is the good thing that we want. And now if we look at the actual value for our state ID. We'll see that it's not a, not a string or an integer like it could be, but it, it's actually one, our enumeration of not published with a value of one. And I always like this because you can actually look and see what the value is by just doing value. And you'll get that. And you can say hey, name and get the name. Now, the great part about enumeration is that we're, we're not supposed to be able to set uh, an enumeration to an invalid value. That's like the huge benefit to using them. And so if we go back into our creation thing here, and let's just say we're going to make this 12. And we know 12 is not a valid state because we didn't define it. And if we refresh our page, we get an error telling us that 12 is not a valid backing value which is exactly kind of what we want. So nobody can come in here and, and accidentally set our published state to 12, which is meaningless to us. Implicit route bindings with enumerations. The next piece of enumeration logic we want to look into is the fact that we can now use enumerations in our routing in order to allow only specific values. Let's look at an example where we might want to filter out our list of articles based on their current state. We can define a route like so. And then we'll pass int state. And so what we can do here is we can say, so what article where state ID is state. And we'll just we'll just do a count right now to see that we're actually getting values back. With a quick DD. And let's go to articles. So we should have several test examples where we've created them with not published state. So we should get some. Yep, so we're getting four. We created four example ones in this in this case. But let's see what happens. So we, now we can go in here and we can say, well, let's do article and state of idea 77. And we don't get an error. We just get like blank results, which is, you know, kind of not a great user experience, but, but it's functional. And so what we can do is instead of saying that, well, the state is an integer, this state is actually a published state enumeration. And so if we go back to our original page, It'll work like we expect it because one is being passed and we're getting the enumerations we wanted. But if we, oh, I'm sorry, if we pass a value of 77, we get a 404 error. Now, I'm not entirely sure that a 404 is the correct response for this, but it's a lot better than just returning a blank page. Um, so I'm struggling with if this is how I want my application to work going forward, but I definitely think it's a good start. What you need to know. Laravel 9 added support for enumerations. In order for these to work, we must be using PHP 8.1 or higher. We can cast a value in from the database to an enumeration, and we can also use them in our routes to prevent invalid data. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please make sure you subscribe, comment, and like as it does help others find us. Do you want to help support the channel? Support us on Patreon. We really love it, and we'll include your name in the list of supporters at the end of each video. Have you started using enumerations in Laravel 9? Let us know in the comments below. This is Scott Keck Warren for PHP Developers TV, signing off and reminding you to keep coding.